is that you said right yeah the musician yeah yeah he knows me okay yeah i was, I was hey, just man, to... what's up man this is um mr showbiz jeff for can you hear him yeah yeah i can hear it so yeah. you are just joking yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i i he knows me okay yeah we're just asking him about his performance you know how he had been doing some of his shows here and i don't know why uh, i don't know i'll probably send him link i don't know why he can't connect him king bed you wanted to click on the on the link to see if you can connect i'll send you link on your facebook you click see if you can connect okay okay yeah, if you can't connect, then I'll call you back in 30 minutes, okay? All right, bro. No problem. Yeah, if you click the link, then it will guide you um, how to connect on. Okay? Okay. Okay, thanks, bro. Thank you very much, man. Thanks, yeah. Anyway, guys, I was just like looking there. Yeah, do you know him, bro? Yeah, I know him. Yes, um, you know, he's trying to share to me about... um. Our African music, you know, things you have to do to put things together. And you know, while I'm doing the program, you try to. What do people want? Okay. Eh? See, people break it, you see? It's broken. So, yeah. So, um, I'm also Jeff. You're welcome, bro. Yeah. Um, well, somebody, I'm going to say you're welcome. Um, I've been like, you know, I've been trying to get some, some, some things going on. I was talking about religion in particular. I was talking yeah. about yeah, the impact of religion and uh, how. I was thinking about the impact of religion and how religion just hold on a minute. Oh, yeah. No worries. Hey, what do you do so, yeah, thank you very much, man. Um, yeah. yeah. I was thinking about I was telling people about the impact of religion, you know. Um while we are Christians, you know, um it's all to defend and it's all to be honest, you know. Um the implication, you know, um the leader of uh Biafra, who is one of the popular leaders now in Nigeria, accused all the Christians saying that if you are going to church, you will go to hellfire. And he himself said, yeah, he said that all the pastors are evil. He cited that during Good Luck Jonathan, they came out to protest, and during uh, what's and the story came of Christians, none of them came out to do that. You know, it is our responsibility as a Christian to be honest and to say the fact and to say the whole thing right. Now the guy is a Jewish. The actually question that Jesus Christ did not go to any church, okay? And you, Ambassador Jeff, I know that you have been reading this campaign seriously about the young lady that they read in Edo, right? First of, all, uh, first of all, I need to do some clarifications here. You know, a lot of people, as a Christian or as a believer, okay. Of, but let's of, go to let's go to let's go to finish with uh, King Bell, okay? And we'll go to music, guys. We're going to King Bell, guys. Oh, <laughs> yeah, welcome, King Bell. <laughs> That's it. You did well. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Remember, my man, my manager, yeah. is come, my manager is going to come online in the next uh, twenty minutes. Okay. Mm. Can bear you see Ambassador Jeff? He knows him. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. I know him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, this is a good. It's good to see you, brother. It's there, you know. It's very good. No, that's fine, yeah. man. It's long time. Long time no see, how bro. Is the, how is the mistress? <laughs> how is the family? Yeah, everybody going good, my brother. Thank that's God. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're talking about the issue of Christianity and how people portray themselves um, via yeah. the house of God, via the house of God. Um, either it's an, it become an exit route, or he become a, a route. To heaven, so yeah, that ways humanity has turned the turned, turned things upside down. You know, yeah. So love, love is something of the heart, and God's name is love, and a lot of people have exactly, yeah. So when it comes to Christianity, 
a lot of people are using the word Christianity for evil. A lot of people portray themselves to be to be Jewish, to be prophet, to be pastor, to be evangelist, when they're actually doing the opposite. Now, when it comes to Nigeria, there's nobody, as far as I know, that is a Jewish in Nigeria. So if anybody is coming out to tell you he's a king, first of all, check if the father was once a king. You understand what I mean? If I tell yeah. you my daughter is a princess, you need to find out whether either I'm a king or the mother is a queen. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I mean? So yeah. Christianity, according to some musicians, they call it politics nowadays because a lot of people have betrayed the trust of the of the holy bible that's true, that's true bro yeah so looking at what is happening in our country or in africa in general um some pastor has pretended that claim to have raised somebody from the dead mm. so have claimed to start on top of women's stomach to cure Day of barren. Some have lifted people and throw inside the chair to cast out demons. Some have touched women all sort of a part of their body to cast out evil spirits. All yeah. in the name of what? False prophets. The, the Bible says in the dying days nation will rise against nation. Father will fight against father. There will be false prophets. I'm not saying the, 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 the world is going to end now because you call it the Bible says world without end. So I call it believe when you die, your world ends. Only those that have marked their name in history, their name would come relevant on earth. Or more or less yeah. like three of us, we are here online. We have marked our name today in history for being able to be online together. If this exactly. message is going to be there years and time to come, there are a lot of people who make reference to it. That's why when yeah. you are online, whatever you say, either you are putting a declaimer to it or you have to be found a way to be factual. At least 35% mm -hmm. and keep the 25% to humanity. So my brother left, him, left me um, a message to say um, the freedom, the, I, I call him the freedom fighter and the guy fighting for the Republic of Brafa in Nigeria. I made it clear last time I was here with him that the Brafa Republic is the current 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 uh, present day Cameroon and how they came through the 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 bite of uh, bite from bite of Lupez to bite of Benin into the eastern region in Nigeria is yet mm -hmm. to be confirmed. And on top of that, when you are Equatorial Guinea has it, their second language is Igbo language. And you go to Burkina Faso, most of the Catholic churches use Igbo language as a to teach. And um, some of the, oh, some yeah. of us in Nigeria don't even know. According to history, the people that fight for freedom, if you don't do it properly, freedom will look, freedom begin to chase you. Exactly. I'm not You're against right. anybody not fighting for their right. As a human right, I believe everybody has a entitled to his own personal right. But do not yeah. Live, do not live in iniquity and drag other people along. You understand what I'm trying to say here? So, I, yes, I have a phrase I normally use. I say to people, the life we live is what we make out of it. If you want to live a, yeah. a, a last speaker life, you want to live a, 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 a junk life, a time will come, people will reckon you with what you are portrayed, how you portray your image, matters these days. Because we are, other people, of course, is in a jet age. The, the life is as fast as any other thing as we see it in 21 century or 20th century, from 19th century to 20th century. So many things have transpired. Yeah. Today we are fighting a, 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 a fighting a, 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 a life, a life killer that is living with us. Coronavirus. Yeah. Coronavirus, see, yeah. Malaria. Um, Bipolar disease came, malaria came, fever came, a high blood pressure came. Now COVID-19 yeah. is here. A lot of diseases have come. 
most of these diseases are manufactured. It's not something that God exactly. has created. Right. Yeah. So some of these diseases is created for us to extinguish the human race, especially the black race. HIV was created to, to extinguish the black race. Yeah. Or in all, in all this, God has proven to be holy, proven to be hoaxed to the black race. Otherwise, we would have been extinguished a long time ago. You're right, my brother. So mm -hmm. we, we, we also need to respect one another. Osula, Osula will say, if you, see, if you see something, say something. Yeah. In order for us to be able move to, to live uh, a, a very remarkable and beautiful life with one another. I will try to say to you, there's issue of discrimination and, and harassment going yeah. on here uh, in Melbourne uh, as we speak. The intervention order has been issued and so many things has come out from that um, issue. As a human rights um, uh, right person uh, uh, under the, under the under the uh, Universal Peace Federation, we are recognized by the uh, social economic status of the United Nations. My colleague, uh, ha, because he went for uh, to to support Black Lives Matters uh, demonstration, peaceful demonstration he had in Melbourne, and the landlord has been harassing him, fighting him, and yesterday it was very bad that the police has to intervene. Wow. So in this society, we believe that it's so beautiful like this. I never expected that somebody who, who have so much hatred, just because, because a black person did Black Lives Matter, this landlord has been a thorn in the flesh of my colleague. In Melbourne. Yeah, right here in Melbourne, yeah. In Soviet in St. Kilda. Wow. I don't want to mention names, not just not, because the police is still doing the investigation. The men went there, cut off the the, the, the television cable, cut off the internet cable. Uh, temper, temper How can you do that? You know, just hatred. Wow. You know, so you can see that we need to come together as one. Irrespective exactly, of, our, of, our, of our ethnicity and, and, uh, and uh, borders. Africa, when the, the Ukrama of Ghana says, whenever you see a black man, never you ask him where he come from, because he's an African. He's right. Yeah, but also right. you can find out around here that when you say hello to a black person in the street, you walk past you, he wouldn't even answer you. <laughs> well, that's not good. <laughs> I don't yeah, say. I'm not making it up. Mm. No, it's true. No, it's true. Yeah, that's true. This is both, no, it's true. This is both men yeah. and women. Mm. The woman is more, more, more dangerous. Mm. Because yeah. as a woman, you see that mentality of an African person that when you talk to her, hey, hello, how are you? The first thing that comes into her mind, oh, this man is going to ask me for, 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 to for go sex. Out. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I mean? But yeah. Um, love is beyond sex yeah, well, yeah. it's it's a part of familiarization with people yeah if you don't talk to people yeah. if you don't express your your sincerity your conscience to people no one will know you exactly i have i have i i i i, I talk freely within my community is because why i've been taught a lesson you know on how to resist when you have been harassed, mm, mm. either in the workplace, or by the roadside, or in the, in the train, or in the classroom, anything can happen as long as you are a black man. So many yeah. things can happen. So, my brother, there is no Jewish in Nigeria. Anyway, uh, what we're saying this, you know. <laughs> I know, King Bear, I just say today, today I get hold of him, I say, okay, I wanted to hear about him, I wanted to hear about some of his music, you know. You know, I've been to you know, the African festival, I say, before I go to Christianity, before I go deeper into Christianity, you know, let's just, because 
you know, like you said, both of you are into musical show something, you know? You know, um, like you said, we're thinking about, you know, a, a lot of uh, people, you know, uh, Kim Bell, whenever he came out to perform, you will see such a vibrant, you know, zeal. Yeah, sometimes I wonder in my head, is it carrying some of the African youth along in case you also teach them those patterns, you know? So that they also can be able to learn. So do you have people that you also teach, you know? Yeah, always, my brother, you know? Because of music, you know, music is something you need to communicate. You need to communicate with the people. You need to communicate, especially African people. Mm. That's the things I do. If you if you you notice every time I start I start if I'm on the stage, always I talk about Africa. Yeah. Always I talk about what's happening to Africa, how the African people are suffering, how we are dying, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, because that that's really the message I like to give everywhere I go. Yeah. And I've been doing I've been doing it. I've been I've been doing it for years in this country. You know, like uh, my brother before he said about African people you meet, you meet in the street, you know, especially a woman, if you just say hello, you look at you in the eyes of, you know, this man wants something, you know. <laughs> but uh, I remember a long time ago, in time I came in this country, 1987, 1987, mm. because there was not a lot of black people here. Okay, wow. There was few, yeah. few Africans, yeah. It was few Africans. And then mm. it was every time you see African men, you happy, you very, you look at, hey, 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 that's my family. If you're oh. that, if you walking in the street, you're on the other side of the street, you run just to, to you know, to to greet, hey, hey, my brother, you know where you're living? Yeah, this is my number, you know, I want to, let's catch up in the weekend. So it was just, if you see brother, you just, you know, you give, to, you give yourself, you know. Today, people, they start getting, ah, where you come from? I'm from Congo. Ah, you from Congo? Ah, okay. I'm from Nigeria. Oh, I'm from Ghana. Ah, but not really connect. You know, connect yeah. that connection, the African connection, the one we have in Africa. Yes, yes. In Africa, we have that connection. But we come here, many people, especially young generation, the one they coming now to this country, they coming with a different ideas. Yes. You know, you try to say hello, you look at you like you, you know me. No respect, too. Yeah. <laughs> and then you look at yourself. Hey, I don't know you, but you're my brother. Yes. You're my brother. You know, I know you already because you are my brother. You are black like me, so you are yes. my brother. You know, I, I don't want to know where you're from. Yes. As long as you are a black man, to me, you are my brother. Yes. You know, so mm. I will deal with you like a brother. Mm. You know, but. Mm. Like my brother said before, they we need to just keep teaching them. You know, we can't stop, or we can't let them. You know, just be. No. If you see your brother like that, you just talk to him. You know, just let him know I'm your brother. You know, let's be together. You know, we are here. We are in a different country here. We are not in our country. And then if we are separate here too, that's another. That is is a big problem for us. Mm. You know, that's why we're facing all this uh, racism, you know. But if we are together, no one can, can defeat us. Exactly. You know, because yeah. black men, black men is a, is a, the strongest man in this in this in, in this world. In this world, yes, 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 yes. If we are together, no one can defeat us. And then, you know, Western people to themselves, they know it. They know if black people they together, you can't defeat them. So always I just keep telling telling my young brothers these days, letting them know, you know, we need to be together. You know, let's stop fighting you you fighting your brother in the street, you fighting your your sister in the street is not right. It's not right. We need to have that respect. You know, that respect the one it will it will take us somewhere one day in life. But if we lose that respect, people just look at us like like we don't know where we're going. But mm. we know where we're going because we know where we're coming from. Yeah, that's right. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So, uh, you know, uh, like you're saying, when I watch you on the stage, when I watch your music on the stage, you know, it's full of energy. It's full of those vibrancy of, you know, I see the African love. That's why I always say, brother, I always make sure I call you my brother. You know, 
I also want this message you are passing by. Order you to get that message, you know. We have, I saw some African youth that are coming up here. So I see people like you that are legends. They need to put some of them in your wing, you know. Teach them some of those things. Yeah. That's so, what we keep doing, my brother. Always, yeah. we keep doing that. We never stop, you know. We keep yeah. doing it. Like, um, some of the, um, you know, music you play are always, like, feel very, very happy. And your traditional, you know, you show them not the Western, you show them what Africa is, this is the way Africa. Respect, you know, it's very good respect for you, you know. Um, Thank you, know, what, you Thank uh, you. Yeah, yeah, we're so happy to have you, you know, here. If I, even Africa, we need to support music like yours because it makes us know where we're from, you know. It's not just the hip hop. We are not trying to play the American music here. We are trying to yeah, show no. people the original. Exactly. The yeah, bro. Music. Yeah, the original music, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, um, I say, you know, when you see an African, when I see an Africa, I actually, you know, embrace just my brother. You know, I don't want to bring you, you know, those things does not help anything. What are you fighting for? You know? You know, exactly. mostly, yeah, right. uh, you know, we don't want to see you running around like, you know, get, getting engaged in crime or something like that. They need to know that you can talk to haters. They will tell you, don't do that because there's no profit on those things. You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah, bro. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So you tell me, um, how long, so when you're performing in Congo, is that in Congo, right? Or Angola, where did you watch the music before you come to, went to Brazil? I uh, do much in Angola. Angola, okay. Mm. Like I said, I tell you before, because I, because I was involved in national ballet. Yeah. So that's where my music started. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm involved in national ballet, and then from then, I start traveling. You know, going to Europe. Like I said before, since 1982, I was already traveling to Europe, performing all over Europe. Mm -hmm. You know, and then. Uh, 85, I left Africa, I go to Brazil, and then mm -hmm. I stayed in Brazil. I was performing in Brazil too. Oh, wow. I was in Brazil performing. Yeah, I'm performing in Brazil there for two and a half years. Yeah. And then in 2007, yeah. then I come here. I remember that date. date. It was the 1st of July, the 1st of July, 2007. Yeah. And then I come here. Straight away, I start performing too. Since then, you know, I never stopped till now. Oh man! So, which city you perform? Is that Rio? Sorry. Which, which city you perform in Brazil? Is that um, Rio? Which city in Brazil? Is that Rio. Rio. Rio, yeah. Rio, yeah. 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 Uh, Rio de Janeiro. That's where I was. I was based there. Ah, I like Brazil. Brazil is a nice place, you know. Um. It's yeah, a beautiful get... place. A lot of brothers there. Yeah, but I think a lot no. of uh, crimes in Brazil too. Brazil would be scary to live. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's a lot of crime, especially Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, it's a lot of crime there. Yeah. But they have, they have a Nigerian culture there. Okay. Yeah, they have a Nigerian culture there, like the, the Yoruba. Yeah. So, can be yeah. one minute, I'll just play this music. So, guys, if you are there, you just watch. <laughs> I guess you can bear. If you can yeah, watch. I can, I can hear you. I can hear you. Like. <laughs> quasa, quasa, quasa. I get this music closer. I start again. Just give me one minute. Come back. One minute. Okay. I will start the music again so people can get closer to your music.
Then we are just farming. I was in Kinshasa in 1994. All right. Wow. You like it? Yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. Yes. The house is owned by one Nigerian businessman. Oh, yeah, there's uh, a lot of Nigerian there. So, guys, this is Justin Bear. We have Kim Bear here. So, guys, it was great to have Kim Bear here, guys. And you guys have oh, just seen Kim Bear's video. Kim Bear, now you are not going just one minute more. That's why we have you. So, <laughs> it was nice, you know. Um, That's Kim Bear, guys. I you know. Um, Oh, Hello. sorry. Uh, we welcome somebody here again. Um, uh, Basu Jeff, please introduce him. Um, we add it to the program. Welcome, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Sorry, but we just welcome you now. Um, we welcome Isaac like Jimmy. Yeah, my my camera is gone. Ah, I will just will give you a minute to fix it up. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, why we wait, Ambassador Jeff? Okay, welcome. Oh. And why we welcome him, yeah. Jeff? We welcome you, bro. So, Kimbell, you know, let's give you one minute, guys. I need to get you more one on one. You know, this is our brother. Brother, welcome very much, Jimmo. Thanks for joining us. Where are you joining us from? Sorry, if I will ask. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. You said? Yeah, uh, Kimbell, one minute, please. I'm right here in Venice City. I just said. Wow, okay, wow. <laughs> nice, welcome. We love you, bro. <laughs> So, thank you very much. Um, I must say that King Bear, I don't know if you listen to his music. You know, we see how we go in there, you know. We have the music on the ground. All right. It's one of my. Is that your album? Huh? Uh, Jeff is, uh, but Jeff is coming in. I think he has a big problem, a bit of problem. Okay. Uh, so he's coming in soon. That is interesting. Uh, and yeah. who is the gentleman I'm seeing on the screen? Please, can yeah, you introduce uh, him? Yeah, that's King Bear. King Bear is a big musician here. He has traveled around the world and uh, it's an honor to meet him. 